Hi, welcome everyone back to Let's Play Rule Aways 1 as Germany. Last time. We got surprised by the French, as in they told us they were going to go have a fleet exercise and just put all their units into reserve afterward. Then they attacked us, and then we sunk a bunch of their heavy cruisers in response. To no actual loss of vessel to our own. And... It looks like... I think I did this in between sessions, because I attempted to record this and my mic wasn't on. So, we actually already have our actions for this turn laid out. We're building ten new submarines. We've accelerated construction on all these vessels, and we're moving some forces around. <laughs> oh no, it's five prestige. Oh, hey! A French destroyer got sunk by the Japanese. Oh. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I love beating up heavy cruisers. If this is indeed heavy cruisers, we'll be fighting. If it's not, that could be something, uh, more drastic. Or a bigger problem. Alright, we have the Lutzow. We have the Deutschland. Here we go. Battleship Deutschland. Our new 50,000 ton dreadnought battleship. Alright, we have two unidentified. The battlecruiser Lutzow. Which is our new... One of our newer 43,000 ton battlecruisers that failed to meet design speed, so we're actually going to have to rebuild her after the war. So, you're going to come up to battle speed, 27 knots. That's nice. Deutschland is to come up to 25 knots, which is its maximum speed, yes. Deutschland is to make course, something like that will be fine. Gelfon, one of our new light cruisers. An 8,000 ton light cruiser. Equipped with eight torpedo tubes per side. Yeah. 5,000 yard range. At fast speed, 13,000 at 27 knots. It's not terrible, considering the time period. Alright. Let's uh, turn in and uh, join the party. They should all be... Uh, their main line of battle should be heavy cruisers. Yep, treaty cruisers. 12,000 ton, 9-inch gun equipped. 27 knots. So they cannot outrun us. Yeah, this is a different class, 27 knots. Oh no, that, those are the same class. We've actually kind of uh, caught them in a pincer and have crossed their T. Lutzow, I believe, is about to begin firing. Lutzow is equipped with 14 inch guns. Yes, 14 inch quality 0. Deutschland is equipped with 16 inch quality negative 1. Alright, we got a battleship back here. But uh, you could say that the Lutzow is kind of designed to kill these uh, heavy cruisers. Deutschland is approaching at 25 knots. I don't believe the French have seen Deutschland yet. Okay, that's a different class. 27 knots, 9 inch guns, a little bit up armored it looks like. 5 inch in barbettes. You have 6 inch in barbettes, okay. Uh, 
think Gelfon's been hit, yeah. Gelfon got hit, but no penetration. That was probably a 5-inch shell, then. Are they on fire already? Okay, we're just passing into torpedo range. We're recording some hits. Okay, we spotted... Is there actually a battleship in this mess? No. Hey, uh, Lutzow, can you lose a torpedo from here? Friendly's in line of fire. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to kind of turn away because I want to allow uh, Deutschland to get in on this. Just, I was just thinking, the Kaiser's going to have my head if I get Deutschland sunk. I think I just sunk their flagship, though. Alright, Deutschland has fired its first salvo in combat against the enemy. Hansa has gotten its secondary battery hit. One of our treaty cruisers. Also equipped with 9 inch guns. Someone just flung torpedoes. Over here. Yeah, there are torpedoes in the water. Heavy cruiser, everyone's getting in on this. S-55 is swimming in a field of friendly torpedoes. Oh, it seems like their units are as well. We're going to turn... Both units are going to turn in to the north. Alright, that guy got drilled. Deutschland is going to turn west, Lutzow turn southeast. So our fleets are going to cross each other. Ouch. Blown up. Hit turret top. Destroyers are certain, certainly getting in on this. What are we looking at for enemy destroyer strength? 1100 ton destroyer, 6 tubes. 900 ton destroyer, 2 tubes. Eleven hundred ton destroyer, six tubes. Yadigan class, a thirteen hundred ton destroyer with six tubes. That one's still alive and kicking. There's a lot of light cruisers down here. Oh, yeah, these things. Yeah. S seventeen's been hit. Uh, guys, watch the friendly fire, please. Deutschland's been hit. Maybe I should forbid torpedo launching. Because they're all just shooting at the same... Wait. Oh. That guy over there. They're all just firing torpedoes at dead guys. I 
I mean, they're hitting him. Not sure what my destroyer core is doing over there. Trying to keep these vessels maneuvering. Yep, pick him up. Deutschland is equipped with 12 8 inch secondaries and 12 6 inch tertiaries as well. And then, of course, it's 8 torpedo tubes. Which it just launched one. Which it whiffed. Destroyer will show you how it's done. Okay, Lutzow can make a turn like this. I'm a little worried getting rushed by that many destroyers. Yeah, they're coming in for a run. Deutschland just dumped its launcher. Uh, actually, I think that's a good idea. No solutions. Yeah, send it. Just hope G-37 gets out of the line of fire. Yeah, he got the memo. Turn hard to starboard. It's avoiding coming torpedoes. Lutzow needs to adjust his course as well. Gotta be careful so we don't become a target. Okay, those destroyers are turning in. All right, let them let them engage in flotilla attack. Okay, Lutzow is the one under attack. Deutschland turned to starboard. Rotate back. Let's now turn back in. Okay, we sunk him. Yep, pick him up. I, have, I haven't seen that anyone's evading torpedoes yet. The enemy is most assuredly fleeing, though. Deutschland is almost out of ammunition. Deutschland has been hit 22 times, though. 5-inch penetration on the belt extended. 9-inch pass-through hit on the superstructure. It's not able to penetrate my belt. Five inch hull hit on the belt extended. Let's just be mindful. G thirty eight, did you get hit by friendly torpedoes? G-38, go home, K-1 
Okay. It's 31. Not damaged enough. Okay. I would hate to lose it to destroy at a friendly fire. Also, I think I whistled a little bit. I hope that wasn't too loud in the mic. Yeah, he's getting railroaded by torpedoes. I think Lutzow fired his, uh... Oh no, he fired one of his starboard... his, uh... above deck mounts. Oh, V-30, careful. That guy doesn't have any torpedoes. This guy, no, he doesn't. Wow, they're... Their guys aren't sinking very quickly. There we go. Yep. <laughs> They're still getting hit by torpedoes. At this point, they are running for their lives. I believe Deutschland's forward turrets are expended. Uh, no, not quite yet. The forward, the forward turrets still have a little bit of ammunition on them. Someone is laying smoke. Oh yeah, we also have a lot of submarines in the region. We're just picking on all those guys. This is one of the weaknesses of my vessels, is we're not very fast. In comparison, we don't really have the same ability that other nations may have with, or other people may have with their design choices. We all run down a foe like this. Lutzow's forward turret, I believe, is expended. Okay, we've lost the target. They're probably headed to here. Did they turn around? A lone light cruiser turns around to accept his fate, basically. Uh, yeah, send it. Two torps, give it to him. Bring the rear turrets to bear, and of course it stops working. We have like an electrical problem on Deutschland or something. Yeah, Deutschland's forward turret has been expended. What about my secondaries ammunition? Secondaries only have 5% ammunition. Tertiaries have 21%. I lost a tertiary on the starboard side. Our hit percentage is actually doing pretty good right now. Yep, pick him up. 
from an unknown destroyer. Oh, this could be bad. Dude, it is not a French dreadnought. Oh no. Okay, the port side is the one that needs to be flinging. Oh! <laughs> Almost got team killed by S31. Didn't I detach S17? Whatever. Could try to loop Lutzow back, but I'm not going to. Oh no, I had to touch somebody else, I think. Oh, that or they sank and nobody told me. Probably at the port, uh... This is an unknown ship. Did we just run face first into two destroyers? That could be bad. Yeah, I'm aware Deutschland is basically out of ammunition. Oh no! <laughs> oh, G37 died. You're not going to make it, D30, G37, but I'm going to send you anyway. No, there's no way you make it. What happened? S58 is dying. Is he just holding on to his torpedoes this whole time? Oh, that one's a little scarier. That one has above waterline torpedo tubes. Eight of them. Wow, yeah, that's bad. Well, let's use whatever ammunition you got left. Send these guys to the bottom. Deutschland's gonna have to go into dry dock, though. How do we have... S how do we still have torpedoes? Oh, I thought that said Lutzo was shooting at somebody, but no, that's light position. You know, we're supposed to have an advantage in night battle with our training. Maybe I need to do the training again. How are you doing with that whole flooding thing, Deutschland? You look like you're doing fine. We sent him to the bottom. Now, Lutzow, let's be careful to not, you know, strike a mine. That would be embarrassing. Well, y yeah, I figured that. Yeah. 
can you can patrol the port. See if anyone's left out here. Uh, kill him. Turn away. There's most assuredly torpedoes in the water. Let's turn Lutzal around. Clearly somebody's here. Kind of just waiting for G37 to sink. There we go. So I could pick up the survivors. Alright, Deutschland is limiting flooding. Uh, yes. Looks like I'm gonna get away with only losing a singular destroyer. I'll have him rebuilding by the time we get, uh... By the time we get to the docks. You guys swing north. Oh, no. Wait, Lutzow's been ambushed. All units turn south. Who was this we ran into, and how did we not see them first? This guy is clearly not one of ours, guys. Did those two misread the signals? They must have misread the signals. Lost sight of the target. can't keep up and is detached. Hmm. France has no vessels left at sea. Very well. I lost only a singular destroyer. They had a battle cruiser in this area, but it didn't apparently do anything. I never saw it, I don't think. I had a dreadnought and a battle cruiser damaged. I had a lot of vessels damaged, but the French had a lot of vessels sunk, including the rest of their heavy cruiser force. Yeah, these things. Improved director. Let's see, what happened to you? It's flooding... Oh, turret flash fire. Hit, it was blown up from 8,500 yards by a 9-inch shell from the turret. Hit turret R. So, this turret. 6-inch of turret protection was not sufficient at 8,000 yards. This one had all of its turrets blown up. It was hit seven times by torpedoes. Flooding at 2,611 per turn. Okay, so these little, these two hashes here indicate this is after the ship is sinking. So, yep, yeah, ship is sinking. What did the mortal damage was a 9 inch hit. A secondary gun battery. Progressive flooding, I also imagine. 14 inch. Yeah, I got hit. Got hit by medium caliber rounds 313 times. I believe our 5 inch guns, I believe those are like almost all 5 inch hits. It's actually pretty mixed here. A lot of 9 inch hits actually, I'm seeing. A lot of 9 inch hits. Oh, you got sunk, like, right at the beginning of the battle. Within the first 15 minutes, you were dead. 14-inch shells will do that. 
Yeah, this was their flagship. Got hit. Belt extended, belt extended. Belt high speed, heavy... High speed increases flooding, bulkhead, or... Detached due to heavy flooding, engine room hit. Vessel is sinking. It got riddled by five torpedoes before it got sank. So that one got hit seven times by torpedoes. Five, six, one, five, five, six, three, two, one. That was my Deutschland. Two, one, two. How did Deutschland do? Fired a thousand rounds from its 16 inch guns. Scored 54 hits. Our, I believe we expended almost all of our ammunition, yeah. The secondaries expended their total ammunition, as did the tertiaries. With the main guns nearly depleting. I believe the forward two turrets were depleted. Yeah. Forward. I know the forward superimposed, the two superimposed turrets had ammunition left in them. Who was this battle cruiser? Faust Bismarck. Oh yeah, this is the vessel we stole from the Russians. How did you do? You wield eight inch quality zero. Oh, saltwater enters feed tanks. Machinery disabled from a 9-inch high-explosive hit. Ouch. French battlecruiser. Operational, operational, and operational. S-49, S-41 were in the region. This battle cruiser. This was who was in the area. 30,000 ton, 14 inch gun equipped battle cruiser. Maximum speed of 28 knots. Did not fire a single shot in the battle. Where were you this whole time? In port. Was it in port at the start? That's what it looks like. Fired no shots. We picked up quite a few survivors actually. S17, S or V30, yeah, S17, V30, V28, G40, not bad, not bad. Uh, sure. I believe this is the second. Is it supposed to be German or German? I'm gonna say German in this case. Steel shortages. Dang it! More, vessel more vessels than the Mediterranean can support. Yeah, I'd imagine. Alright, we'll probably get into one more battle and then end the episode. So we lost, what, two destroyers? Nineteen twenty nine. Yeah, two destroyers.
Okay, let's lay them down. We'll actually lay down four destroyers. There we go. There you go. Lay down four brand new destroyers. Actually, we have the money. We can lay down more destroyers. Yeah, we can lay down eight more destroyers. Well, go ahead and lay down eight more destroyers. Alright, carry on. Cruiser battle. Do you have any cruisers left? Yeah, I thought so. They also apparently have broken the blockade. Alright, Battlecruiser Lutzow. Been seeing a lot of action. Alright, we have an unknown enemy vessel. Bring us up to speed. A dreadnought? Probably their battle cruiser. It is a battle cruiser. Twenty eight knots, thirty thousand tons, eight fourteen inch guns, eight and a half inches of armor versus Lutzow, forty three thousand tons, twenty seven knots, twelve fourteen inch guns, twenty four six inch guns, twelve five inch guns, eight torpedo tubes, and twelve inches of armor amidships. I think this is a mismatch. This should be rather short and an enemy capital ship sunk. And then Lutso got its rudder jammed. Yay. Lutso also got set on fire. As if just to prove me wrong. Who's the Bremen over here? Bremen class. Uh, light cruiser. Okay, this is my rating cruiser. Bungee torpedoes. Alright, looks like we got that rudder fixed rather quickly. Good work on the Damacon crew. Oh, looks like we killed a destroyer. Probably with the secondaries while I wasn't looking. Oh, I lost a turret. Okay, you need to inflict more of a kicking on that uh, battle cruiser. Stop kicking the uh, destroyers. Let our destroyers kick their destroyers. That's 17. I can see back in the fight after getting patched up. We've sunk all of their destroyers. Can we please work on their battle cruiser now? S57's running out of fuel. Oh, I think we've sunk him. Yeah, Lutzow was getting the same idea I was. Send it. Flotilla attack, why not? Turn away, because he's going to be drilled by those. I say that. S-35! I thought that was S-35 had collided. S-35 has mistaken the flotilla attack as boarding the enemy vessel. Lutzow is spat out 50% of its ammunition. S-17 is running low on fuel. Probably can't fire torpedoes from here. Eh. He's not going anywhere, you might as well. S-59 has the same idea. Good work, S-59. S-59 is giving him more torpedoes than he can handle. Torpedo was a dud, sir. Who's back here still kicking? Where are you guys going? S-35 is just going to go play with a destroyer over there. 
Where's the bin? Where, why is the Bremen way down there? That thing is also probably dead, but I'm just gonna circle it until it goes down. <laughs> S17 just simply rams the vessel as it goes down. It ensures it sinks. S17 has engaged in ramming speed. Yep, pick him up. I need to have some proof I sunk, I sunk all these vessels. And their crew is one pretty convincing way of doing that. Because, I mean, the French know who, who's on their own boats, right? I'm surprised that vessel even exists from a pass that close with all my secondaries hitting it. I'm glad I don't have to pay for all these ammunition costs. And knowing I won't get thrown into another battle so I can just spit out all my ammunition. Why is the mission still going? Is there another unit at the Port of Brest? Th that should be all of them. Is there somebody else alive? We only have 10 inches of protection on the turrets. I think a 14 inch shell is capable. Okay. An unknown. Oh. It's a, uh. It's a uh, coastal battery, six inch coastal battery. Very well, you may engage. I don't actually think, uh, like me destroying this coastal battery will actually have it be destroyed in the overworld. Like, uh, if someone blew up one of my coastal gun batteries, I don't know if that would count. Oh, he just now returned fire. Like, I don't know if I can actually destroy these. Or if it'll just respawn at the end of the turn. Like a uh, reserve, like a uh, garrison unit in uh, Total War Shogun 2. It's on fire. You see the crater impacts. Alright, the guns are silent. I mean, it makes sense, because, in a way, it's just a coastal gun battery. It can be replaced rather easily, but I was just wondering if the AI has to build it. Or if it gets replaced automatically. Let's go see if we can go find another coastal gun battery to play with. <laughs> I'm just playing with fire doing that. Watch it be like a 14-inch gun battery in turrets or something like that. I imagine those coastal gun batteries could be quite mean. Okay, it's becoming night. Let's not risk hitting a mine. Got a scoot. I'm sure the town of Brest also appreciated me shelling it. <laughs> I'm sure that was a very popular move. They had a singular destroyer who was just limping home somewhere. I did blow up that. Uh, I did blow that up. Destroyed. Burm. Conning tower hit by a five-inch shell. R rudder disabled. Oh no! I jammed the uh, coastal battery's rudder. It doesn't move anyway. Rudder jam to starboard. Course 225. <laughs> this poor guy. He got hit by four torpedoes, 88 heavy shells on 159 medium shells. How quickly was he dead, by the way? Right here. He's sinking just before 1 o'clock. 
set on fire. And how long was I shelling him? It took him about 57 minutes to sink, and I was shelling him the entire time. At least I have suffered minor damage. What destroyed that, uh... The 14-inch high or armor-piercing shell jammed my rudder from 13,000 yards. A armor-piercing hit the deck extended from 16,000 yards. Started a fire. Okay, turret hit from 14,000 yards. Okay, our turret armor, 10 inches of armor is not sufficient to stop a shell at 14,000 yards. As it went in, it didn't destroy the turret. It didn't destroy the turret, though. Or perhaps it did. All damaged by splinters on the deck extended. Yeah, because I'm using all or nothing armor in concept. Yeah, the V turret. That must have been what KO'd the turret. It's just not saying it properly here. Very well. These destroyers. I didn't look at these. He got hit 103 times in a singular torpedo. He was dying within minutes. Or no, within the hour. He kind of disengaged us for a little bit there. He launched a torpedo at me right at the start of the fight, though. I didn't appreciate that. Yeah, he also got kicked a whole bunch. He got hit 24 times. He had... Wait, he has director firing? Wait, wait, wait. He has directors on his destroyers? Okay, that one's local only. Do I have directors? Local only. That's on my S-17 class. G-42 is local only. By the way, did he... what was... Eh, that's a 12-inch coastal in turrets. 11-inch in turrets. Well, it's an 11-inch coastal battery, I should say. I think the 11-inch in tur er, The 12-inch in turrets actually is double-barreled. And they had a submarine in the area. Did they have another coastal battery in the region? Okay, if I had gone this way, the Arquebus, the only destroyer to survive the night, the lone survivor, I'm sure you'll have plenty of survivor's guilt. It's not like you didn't take any kicking, though. A 9-inch coastal gun battery target had I gone further up the coast. And if I had gone up to Normandy, I would have ran into two coastal gun, or three coastal gun batteries, a 10-inch... A 9-inch, and an 11-inch. So, that'll do it for this time. Next time on Let's Play Rule the Waves, 1 as Germany. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Probably keep kicking the French until they capitulate. As it appears we have blockaded them again. By how much? Uh, oh, by quite a bit. They have no capital ships in the area. I don't know where their capital ships went. I didn't sink any dreadnoughts. Are they in Asia? There's one in Asia. Anywho, I will see everyone then, and hopefully we can get this other Deutschland built.